what is going on guys welcome back to another video a overdue video from the last few weeks um, ironically enough we made two consistent videos and then you know we stopped but that was due to the fact that we had family visiting from the states we had Greek Easter which is a very very big deal here which we'll probably throw in a clip of how crazy Easter gets here and on top of that I was prepping the car for paint and I know I should have probably recorded that but problem was it's just between work and then going out with family and then just it was it was a very hectic few weeks so I just unfortunately didn't really have that mindset to record everything and kind of showcase the car getting done because truth be told the car has really transformed and we are talking about the Miata here so sadly realistically this video is gonna have to be kind of short um, due to crappy weather the rain's actually starting to pick up and I'm not gonna be able to get good rollers and quite honestly the car is gonna look like crap in a few minutes but appreciate you guys checking us out and sorry for the delay again I know it was kind of like a, oh you just said you know you're back with consistent videos but now that I kind of got a flow of things and you know we're back to normal and all the holiday stuff is over definitely gonna be cranking out some more videos so definitely make sure to like and subscribe it really helps us out it keeps us motivated too and can't wait to show you guys what we got coming next all right so here it is the car is now painted British Racing Green with a little bit of extra silver, but as you can see, the weather kind of got all crappy on us. And then to give everybody a reminder, for those that don't know, that is Mazda Speed side skirts, Mazda Speed front like bumper extension, I guess lip because it's a pretty big lip. I think, I could be wrong. I don't remember exactly. I'm still learning the Miata stuff. <laughs> OEM fog lights with custom LED projectors. These are extremely bright at night. Um, NB2 front end. So the projector headlights different from bumper. Custom color changing LED strobes, all that. That's why they're red with full LEDs. And then a custom ducktail slash rocket bunny. I don't know what you want to call it, but it's a really cool wing. Um, this was made by the gentleman that actually sold me the kit in Athens who has everything you can imagine for Mazdas. So I'll throw a link in the description for him if you have a Mazda or Miata in general. And then we did a minor bumper cut, but that's for something else coming up for custom exhaust we're going to be doing. And then the wheels are Borbit. BS01s, I believe. These are made in Germany. These are really, really nice quality wheels. Uh, 16 by 9 squared, plus 15 in the rear, plus 30 in the front. And then, unfortunately, the last piece of the puzzle for the outside, you know, for quite some time is going to be the hardtop. Um, I was stuck on debating if I just wanted to fix this and do a roll bar, but I've been catching myself more and more with the top up, especially now during the summer because this car's got an ice cold AC. So truth be told, I think I'm gonna get a hard top and then just get a really nice roll bar. So, you know, just take the top off and have the roll bar because I don't, you know what I mean? Some people are like, oh, that's an inconvenience, but 90% of the time the top's gonna be up, especially if it's gonna be, you know, super hot out. And then for the inside, we changed up a couple things. We now have the Nardi Edition wood grain steering wheel. I really, really love this wheel. It's a super nice uh, double din radio setup currently off but super nice and then ironically enough the bulbs in the gauge cluster are actually LED but because of the uh, the plastic casing it's green but it looks really cool because just and you know it matches with the car just did a really good cleanup with it just some minor stuff gonna get some new carpets soon and eventually I would like to get some cool seats I'm not sure what kind but yeah I am definitely very happy considering we did everything pretty much you know at home and then prepped the car for pain, then sprayed it ourselves. And again, I feel so stupid for not recording, but you know, just timing was bad and I didn't have a good camera at the time. Now we do, but here it is. Definitely a big and cool transformation that I'm very excited and proud about. I was just told that it is completely fine to share with you guys because obviously, it is and isn't my kind of like update to share 
A lot of you guys know, obviously, I'm currently living in Greece with just Caitlin, my wife who's behind the camera. Um, and you know that my dad and I are kind of like Batman and Robin, except I'm Nightwing and not Robin. <laughs> and you know, it's been kind of tough without them here because you know, we've done everything together and that's another big reason why the car stuff was put on hold. But I just kind of found out that the cars will be leaving and shipped from the Port of Miami July, uh, June 5th, sorry, and will be here, what do you say, like July 6th, around there, 12th. Um, so about a month, month and a half. It takes a few weeks because it has to go through customs, they have to inspect everything, and you know, I mean, it's definitely a scary process, but found out that and was really, really hyped to know. And then I think that'll be a whole nother video too, because we might actually have to drive to Athens. Well, ferry boat to Athens, I should say. And then from there, drive the cars back or maybe trailer the Hako. I'm not really sure, but either way, it should be fun. And sorry if I'm not really looking at the camera, we're driving home. So... I was really hyped about that and got the okay to share that with you guys because it is really you know, really cool news and having both of the Skylines here, which it's going to be the R32 GTR, the red one, and then the Hako. The 34 is going to stay in storage for quite some time because that technically um, has to be, I think here it's 30 years old and obviously it's not, it's 25. So we have to wait a little bit with that. So it'll probably stay in storage. I'm not really sure exactly what he's going to do because I know he just finished doing the Z-Tune wide body kit on that car. So I know he's gonna definitely wanna store that and keep it for when the time's ready to ship it here. Unless we can bring it as a track view, I'm not really sure, but you know, there's always ways around it. So yeah, I'm definitely really excited about that and I can't wait to get these cars here and start driving them through these roads.